Welcome. Today we're going to take a look at the plugin for Obsidian called Easy Bake. What it lets you do is lets you pull in your content, your transclusions, your links that are on single lines into their own notes so that you can compile it and copy it better. Let's dive in and take a look. So this is the note that I was looking at specifically. And the problem is, as I try to get all my books on my website, so when you go do something like this, right, this says scarcity is having less than you feel, and it just it transcludes this. This is its own note. So if I go to, say, copy, I go shift, shift, and copy, it looks like it's copying all the text, but when I actually copy it, paste it, I just got the transclusions only, and that's not what I want. What I want to be able to do on my site is to actually include my notes for members. So if I go to Firefox, and let's bring this in where you can see it. I go to Firefox and I come in here and say curtismichael.ca books read. I want scarcity to actually show, I can show you what it looks like for members, the actual notes. You can see it pulled them in right here. And it actually pulls my note names, it shows my quotes, shows the pages, everything. So that's what I really want. But there's not a good way to get that from uh, this note, unless you use the plugin called Easy Bake. So to get there, we're going to hit Command Comma to go to Settings. We're going to go to Browse in our Community Plugins, and we will type Easy uh, Bake. You can see it actually down here already. So I've already installed it, right? This will say Install and then Enable, and then that's really it. <laughs> that's the whole plugin uh, once you've installed it. So if you don't see the plugin here, you'll have to turn on Restricted Mode. It'll give you a warning saying, "Hey, these plugins can do stuff with your data. Be careful." That's ultimately what you want. So now I've hit Command P and type Easy. I can type Easy Bake for current file. I have some uh, options here. So include the content of embedded markdown files. So transclusion is when you have this uh, exclamation point at the beginning. And when the icon is on its own line, that's important, and I'll show you why in a minute. Bake links, any link when it's on its own line. So just any link to anything on its own line. Bake any uh, link or embedded file, and it takes up an entire bullet list. Again, so if it's a bullet before it, then do you include it or not, and bake uh, files specifically. And I've also found this to be important. So at least on my iPad, when I when it just says a dot .baked, uh, I can't find the file. So I usually go to dot .bake slash md, and then I would bake it. And so it's opened in a new tab. This is the dot .baked file, right? If I go up to my title, you can see it's dot .baked md. And I can go in. This is actually all the text now. So this is what I actually copied out to my members. Now, if we look at something like uh, the climate book, which is what I was taking notes on this morning. So this is how I tested this. You'll see that stuff like the great acceleration. If I put page 13, and this is formally how I took my notes, I would take them and just put page 13 at the end. Now, this will not be uh, included now because this is just a link, right? Just a double square bracket link. But because it has page 13, it does not occupy its own line, then it will not be included. So to get it included, and this is specifically for me and including my book notes for members, I need to make sure that I have it on its own line. That's it. I like Easy Bake uh, and specifically for my usage. It doesn't take the place of something like long form, which I've talked about before. And long form lets you take a book and have a bunch of different compile uh, options for it. But to grab a single note and be able to grab the content out of it and be able to put it on uh, my site for my book notes, that's important. Now, for my book notes, if you want to be able to see them, right, you can go to chrispakill.ca, click Books Read, and then you get all my book notes. So for, say, something like Learn to Love Reading. What you get, this is what most people get. You actually wouldn't even see this copy notes thing right here. You just get this chunk right here. For most people, purchase, learn to love reading. Uh, and that's what most people get. If you are a um, member, you actually get my raw book notes as well. And then on something like this, you'll even see for users. So all users will actually see this chunk as well. So if you go to a post, uh, if I went to our responsibility to future generations, you will see that at the bottom, I have scarcity and how to do nothing. So it links to both those book entries. And on the books, you can see all the different posts that actually link to it. So you can have some idea of what my notes are like and what I'm thinking in a finished form on my site. Now, as people ask for that, I really think that my, most of my notes are for me, um, but there is important parts for you as the user uh, that I can help. And this is the way I can help you see different things that are related. Well, that's it. If you like the video, thumbs up below, subscribe, hit the bell, that YouTube stuff. The best way to support the channel though is to become a member of curtismichael.ca slash membership or take a course curtismichael.ca slash education. Have an awesome day.